spider. You're just in Camp Worldlight 2016. How was it? My favorite part was making a little bird house, and then we cracked it open on accident with a hammer. My favorite part was getting to mingle with people and getting to like um, focus on like making friends at first, and then we got to get to the lessons. So that was fun. My, my favorite part was like getting to know everybody and like new, meeting new people and then we get to do fun activities while we're learning about God. My favorite part was being with all of my friends and <laughs> meeting new people and learning about God's word as well and being, learning the gospel. My cool. favorite part was all the different adventures we had about learning about the God's word and all the activities we did. My favorite part was zip lining and rock. I mean, yeah, and rock climbing in the ropes course. My favorite part was meeting new people in the ropes course, and also the food. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part was everything. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> yes, all of it. All right, tell me about last night. Last night. They said every black being represents, like five, represents 500,000. Five, represents 500 people oh. represents that don't know about Jesus. that have never heard heard Jesus and the one white black bean only is one, one missionary telling people. Yeah. And but, then the whole almost the whole map was covered, was covered in black. In black. Beans. And where were the white beans? The white beans. There, 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 there was like there was like one beans. for every like a hundred beans. Well, was like, from my perspective, it was kind of eye-opening for me because he he spoke through the candlelight to me, and like now, it makes me feel like I should be called to missions and I should go on more missions. Oh and Lord! I'm for missions now. Oh, that's so awesome. That's my friend. That's very awesome. It's just really sad that part of my country don't know about these because there's like a hundred like. Like there's only 1.68 only... billion people that yes. don't know about Jesus, and never what... heard Jesus, and some are homeless. Like, yeah, like there's nobody. Like I don't like the fact that we get to know the truth, America, and we don't take it, and like we take it for granted, and we don't want to even know the truth. But people that are dying in other places are because they want to know the truth, and like they're dying and getting beat and getting thrown in jail just because they want to know the truth, and like it's not fair. How people down, down here take it for granted and like. So what do we need to do about it? Like you just set your Go. Bible aside, and other people are dying to have a Bible just like, yeah. to read it. Miss, um, our cat, um, camp counselor told us a story that like, yeah, we were visited by um one of the people that have been out of town, and um, well out of this, um the country, yeah, and like they Brazil. said, I think so, and like. She said that she was reading the Bible and like she let the person touch it and she said and then the person started crying and then she was like never seen or touched a Bible. And she's like, My grandma's told me about a Bible, but I've never seen or touched one. Oh my gosh, how hard.